scale of one to ten. Wait, did he clap? Yeah, yeah. You he clapped a, while. a long time ago. Did you? Yeah, yeah. he clapped. He oh. clapped a long time ago. And but we need something for him to lead in with. Scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. Uh, what mood are you in? Hmm. That's 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 a weird Wait, question. A scale? No scale of one to ten. No caveats. No reason. That's just, a weird question. Where are you at? One to ten. Hmm. No. Wait, what's 10 mean? I should ask that. Yeah. What is 10? This is, this is your scale. One, so one, one being, being surprising. The worst, oh. one, one being the worst. <laughs> one being the worst, 10 being the best. <laughs> I'm kind of floating near a nine, nine okay. and a half right now. Floyd? Yeah. Four. Four. Oh, I'd be like an 8.5. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. There's, I, I don't know what it is that everybody... When people use decimals on a scale, <laughs> pardon me, eight and one half, I'm always confused because I'm fractions. like, no, I mind fractions too, because I'm like, we all know this is a whole number thing. Okay, right. nine. You can, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, get, I, I, like, I like doing the podcast. I was yeah. around an eight until he used the point five. I dropped down to four. <laughs> I'm with Floyd and four. Wait, why? <laughs> Rightly so. I know. Basically, I don't care why our, us three are in a good mood. Why are you a four? A hundred percent. I, yeah. I, I need to know that. Because that's the number of hours that I slept last night. I've been up since 2.30. Why? I just couldn't sleep. I'm gonna, so, but I'm why? Gonna, I'm going to do stuff. But why a this, f- just <laughs> 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 Dude, if the microphone's anywhere, you are a nose Nazi. If the microphone's anywhere remotely near someone's nose, he's like, You're, it's in your nose. It's in your nose. The nose? It's in your nose. That's so, what he just did to him. So you don't want his, me to do this? His microphone, well, he's right, though. His microphone was at his nose. <laughs> he's not wrong. He was it, right. was, it was but in it his is nose. The, that is the reference well, point Well, also, you'll never see the bottom <clears throat> half of his face. He's like, like oh, the sorry. opposite of Batman. He's just got a beard emitting out of a nose. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> like the idea of the opposite of Batman. Yeah. You just cover the lower part of your face. Tab, but the that tab man open. here'd be the best tab man. is if people couldn't recognize you. Right. You just well, covered the lower part and they're like, well, well, what do we call you? Well, let's yeah. be honest. If you've known somebody for more than three months, the half masks aren't gonna. I've work. always loved. Yeah, we mo- should try a half mask challenge. Masquerade movies where they have mask well, scenes. It's like you don't know that person. Ninety percent of its body type, anyway. You can t- I can tell by how somebody walks the gate of their the step. Gate. I feel like you need to get a Batman suit, like done. go in a straight Batman suit, and then go okay, somewhere. Okay, so step one is already done. Okay, you have one. Yeah, I got okay. one. Hey guys, welcome to You Won't Hate oh. It. My name is Josh. Oh, I messed it up. Hold on. What? <laughs> welcome to You Won't Hate It, where we talk about life through the lens of pastors at the length of a cigar. My name is Josh. I am Ryan. I'm Floyd. I'm Joe. You've shamed me into saying my name. <laughs> yes, it worked. <laughs> Actually, I didn't have anything, so I just went uh, with it. <laughs> so we went on scales scales of you could have dragons. That would no, have been, time, dra- to say, no, been a time to say I'm Batman, by the oh. way. Yeah. Oh. Dragon. Shoot, that would have been. I'm yeah. Batman. Yeah. Uh, we can do it again. Look at him all tuckered I out. still can't get over a four. He's all tuckered out. I still can't get over four. Four mm. seems real low. It's less than half. Pretty low. Yeah. Like four. <laughs> So are you a... Mm. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> why is this guy... Why, Floyd, why... Uh, are you the I'm tired, like I I'm, I'm don't do well or I'm hungry? You know, like you're either... Like some people, if they're really sleepy, don't mess with them. If they're really hungry, don't mess uh-huh. with them. I'm more of uh-huh. a hangry person. Like when I'm hungry, I'm... So mine I'm is hunger. Them. My wife's is sleepy. So I'm, I understand the sleepy. Are you, are you sleepy? Is that the... Yeah, like, like, I just know when I get tired, I get super emotional. Really? Yeah. Oh, like what? Like about what? I, I tend to get... Like romantic? Uh, no. Uh, angry, uh, s- like weepy. Like weepy. Yeah. Wait, mm, more so there's a way to get you more weepy. More weepy. <laughs> is, is it possible to make but, you but, more but, weepy? But mostly, mostly I get angry over stupid things when I'm tired. How come you can okay. sleep? I don't know. I, it, wasn't that, it wasn't like I couldn't sleep because I, I went to bed and I went to sleep. And then about 2.30, I woke up, and I laid there for about a half hour and mm-hmm. tried to go back to sleep, and it just didn't work. So I Man. just like, forget laying, it. Laying there is yeah. the worst. Yeah. yeah. That, that actually is one of the most frustrating. What's your go-to? If you wake up in the middle of the night, what do you do to make yourself fall back asleep? Oh, I love this. And then we'll get to some real questions. No, but these, I really these do are like real. this. These are real. I do like this. What do you, you guys go. What do you, what do, you do? What's, well, Floyd, let's start with you. What, what, what did, did you try? What did you do? Well, the first thing that I that didn't tip- work obviously. The first thing I typically do, like I, I try to reflect, see if there's like what woke me up. Like, is there something on my mind? Is there something troubling me? Is there anything there? 
Uh, and then if there is, I'll pray about it. And typically, if that's the case, then typically praying about it, and I can go back to sleep pretty quickly. Or maybe get up and do something about it because it's or, really bad. Yeah, maybe or if a, it's yeah, if it's if it's something that. No, keep trying. My favorite thing yeah. is to watch somebody with a mortal coil trying to figure out which How to side. Get the band off, yeah. Because the mortal coil is the tough one. The tough band. This is the Joe, wrong, no, com- wrong side. I know it is. You're wrong side. It's working. Joe? You look yeah. Like you're, oh. No, I actually didn't like the reclining was actually bothering me. So I'm oh, okay. I thought I had to right on. Yeah. Do you know what's bothering me? What? That you watching do. that cigar be mutilated. <laughs> totally or the band be mutilated. The band. The, I didn't. I didn't because save the band. The band is the best it part of that the cigar. Best guys, have you guys seen this band? Oh my gosh! It's no, so you, amazing. That was a mortal you still coil. Have it. That was uh, a, a mortal coil. Okay, so sleeping. Uh, Wait, Josh. What does Josh got? Yeah, no, no. I was gonna say. So you wake up. Mm-hmm. You try and think about it. So was last night. You just couldn't think of something. Yeah, I just didn't think of anything. Mm-hmm. Like there was nothing that was extremely troubling to me. There was nothing. I just woke up, and I think part did you of, need some help finding some troubling things about you? Because I yeah. could, I could like send you some. I know. There's there's I things about you that are troubling. There's plenty of troubling things about me. If there was something troubling me, Whoa. those are two different things. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. And then, and then if that if that's not the case, then I you know then I don't know what to do at that point because okay. if it's not something troubling me, so that's all you got. You wake up, yeah. if you're not troubled, you're like, well, I'm up now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Josh, what do you do? Because you actually yeah. used to have a ton of trouble sleeping when yeah. you were a kid. Yeah. I well, I mean, that was from since I was a kid to into college and and still remnants. I mean, when you you know playing music late, getting yeah. home late, had struggled with insomnia for years. And I watched a quick video on the, the marine technique of falling asleep. Which, which is, is where you, I think that's called waterboarding. Yeah, yeah that's so actually you know, yeah. a different name. No, I just have a you know, bucket and rag next to my bed. Oh, that's Great. called the ice book challenge. Look what is happening. <laughs> so these are, no. these are very different so things. It, it's like a, a breathing technique, and you just calm your body from like your head all the way down to your toes. Do I it. Mean, that I, literally right need, I literally need to know what you're talking you, you about. Like, fall I fall asleep. I have wanna, you never heard of it? No, no, I've not heard of this. Oh. You haven't really? No. Yeah, but yeah. that's, you know, sometimes if I wake up, you know, I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll pray, play guitar. Just kind of like, is there a reason I'm... I'd love the thought of you having a guitar in your bed. Well, it's next to it's my bed. No, 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 it's in the bed. No, 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 it's it in is the bed. in, the, in bed the bed next to hey, you honey, with the covers on honey, real gently. Don't tell the I know. I, tell yeah. You said I could wake you up anytime when I want yeah. to do this. <laughs> <laughs> just leaning over. Dude, Let me just strum your string. <laughs> strum in my face with this Or I wake finger. up and it's being strummed. Huh? What? what? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, that is the the other good one that is that. It's, I th- want to say it's called... It's like eleven, fourteen, seven, or something like that. There's numbers where it's the. No, yeah. that's the safe to hear at you, church. You that's count. How you get into it where might keep, be. So we keep our gold. You count, <laughs> inhale for eleven seconds, and then you hold it for seventeen. And again, I forget the numbers. And then you exhale for that same, you know, whatever number mm. of seconds. Genuinely relaxing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Ge- you do it through. I want to say it's all through your nose or something. Yeah. On and again, I, this is how often I do it. I don't need to relax anymore. I'll fall asleep right now. Uh, when I used, I would actually do that because I remember somebody. Oh, it was it was uh, Jen? Was she led some class on psychology? Oh, yeah. And she's like, this is a strategy that you know. And she taught it. And I was like, interesting. Did it? Oh, it felt fantastic. Yeah, super relaxing. Like I think breathing techniques are fantastic. Right. I think it's weird. Why is it? So here's a good question. No, well, y- nope, we're going oh away from gosh. it. Oh my gosh! I wanted Whoa. to hear your technique. Why for is why you it? Go to sleep? I just fall asleep. It's real simple. You never get stuck awake. Very rarely. Really? Well, you yeah. don't. You don't sleep a lot, though, right? You're... No, he sleeps a ton. He just stays up late. Oh, I, 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 I thought sleep... you, you had shorter sleeping patterns, though. Well, I don't get a full eight hours. Right. I don't need Do a full like eight six hours. Six or seven? Yeah, yeah. Six yeah. or seven is is usually more than enough. That's I true. will say the last three or four nights Years. I've had terrible sleep. Oh, that's not good. I, it feels like I think it's sleep apnea. I, like I've been waking up like multiple times in an hour to change positions, and I'm like. Not feeling very rested in the morning, so, so I'm trying to figure have? that out. What'd you do? Put a show on, or you just lay there? What do you... No, like it, it doesn't wake me up. Like I stay awake, but I'll wake up to change positions, That's and then I feel night. like I fall asleep, and just... then I wake right back up to change positions again. Then I wake up, I gotta go pee, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like That's it's my just been. Right. I've been sleeping, yeah. but it's super restless, mm-hmm. and I can't figure that out because I'm like, this is not good for the humanity yeah. of my, like I can't. Right. I was actually awake last night at two thirty as well and couldn't go to sleep, which is about happens maybe once a year in my life. Yeah. Uh, you guys should have called each I other. Should've. I should have. I was like, I was gonna be like, Floyd, here's what's troubling about you. Yeah, just text him. Just would have given that. It's, that's what it's what woke me up. That's what. It's that's how troubling it is. Yeah. It's so troubling that I'm gonna text you about it. Well, and I think uh, part of the issue for me too was is last week I slept a ton. 
Oh, okay. Because I, you know, had COVID. Had COVID. Yeah. And so yeah. I slept a ton, eight hours a night. Sure. And so yeah. I'm shooting for nine. That's my goal. I want to get nine hours. I feel like so I'm Ash- healthier Ashley when I sleep needs, more. Ashley needs the, like, and it is funny because it's not, the eight hour myth was kind of busted a long time ago. Each person is different. Yeah. And Ashley genuinely, I would say, needs about nine hours. And it's yeah. not like a, it's better if she has it, but she's she is not great. You got it. Oh, I I am I am better yeah. with eight and a good nap during the day. Like a, a nap helps me so. I don't nap much. well. I don't nap well. So here here is going to be my question. Okay. Uh, why is it? Because I actually think like breathing techniques and stretching and kind of even moving into like the yoga world, like all that stuff, is actually sure. very healthy for your body your mind and your spirit. I think okay. it's very good. Why is it so weird in the Christian realm? Most Christian worlds think things like yoga and even like breathing techniques is just kooky and, yeah, not, and, and like, not good. Christians why like is hate that? like chanting like we worship you, Satan. They're like, I'm like, why do you guys hate yeah. the chanting? Right. Like, why do you hate all that just trying to sleep chanting? Uh, yeah, I'm, I can't go to sleep. Satan so. is a very different... Uh, <laughs> Lucifer? 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 That's a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> he said to Lucha Libre. Lucifer! Lucifer! <laughs> He's fine. He's here to help you. Okay, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, we Obviously, <laughs> I, we could talk for everyone here. Why, why do you think Christians don't like that stuff? I'm Cause, not cause sure. Because I've noticed I that. Really, I'm not sure. You don't sure. know? Really? Don't, yeah. Oh, okay. Because it, it, personally, for me, it doesn't strike me as odd. Like, I was raised in a Lutheran church, but, I mean, I remember probably in, like, my teenage years when I was still attending church, but I'd hear about, like, yeah, you know, doing yoga classes mixed with P90X and, you know, FCA and stuff like that. And I was like, well, the, saying the, letters. Lu- the Lutheran, saying no, the letters. Lutherans were in shape. They're doing P90X? No, no, no. I was saying, like, the Lutherans while I was yoked. attending, like, you know, and I'd go, let's go to school. Mm-hmm. I'd hear my friends talk about like, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. doing yoga and P90X and yeah. stuff with their training after school. It wasn't like, well, that's blasphemous. So, you know, like no, it it so never... the Lutherans, because the Lutherans are pretty strict. Mm, in certain areas. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's in they're, certain they're, areas. They're just like everybody else. Like, 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 they don't it's like care. Catholicism sure. with less guilt. Yeah, it is. And they're, they're pretty, I don't, like Lisa's whole family's from the Missouri Synod. Yeah, their li- uh, ours were LMS. And so they're, they're not uptight, like, at all. Was like, he, I wouldn't even know, like... The, you wouldn't even be like, I'm not even saying they're not Christians, but they're just not like, they don't have that religious smack to it. That's funny. I have a stereotype of Lutherans that might be wrong. Cause mm. it, cause and it could be regional, right? For sure, right. Because Presbyterians in California are nothing like in the Midwest. Right, for sure. Like nothing. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference? Uh, in the Midwest, they're like, like the most liturgical Staunch people, yeah. conservative. So yeah, to come yeah. here and be like, hey, have you, gone to, have you gone to Malibu Press? I'm like, what? Like, and you go yeah. there, and you're like... They're in uh, sandals. They drink beer. You're trendy, like, I'm sorry, what? This is a trendy church? Like, yeah. So very different. Yeah. Which reminds me, uh, the guy we met on Thursday goes to Sandals Church, and I remember you made fun of Sandals last time. Do they wear Sandals? What is Sandals Church? Do you remember the church down in Southern California that my buddy works at? It's a beautiful resort. Are you sure? I made fun. I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe that was Hopper. No, yeah. I think it, no it was you. It was the church. They call it Sandals, and the whole point was like... Because the lead pastor who founded it, it's a huge church. They're awesome. They have a Please bunch of Please tell me it's because he wore sandals. Because he wanted to play. Like, he worked in churches or went to a church and didn't feel comfortable. And he was like, I want to start a church where people are comfortable wearing sandals. Jesus Dude, sandals. literally heard All this the for the first time in my life. So I couldn't have made fun of it. I never even heard of it. Dang, I thought that was you. I've actually heard of a church named Sandals. I, I didn't like, but nothing more than I that. I still feel, feel like it's you because you hate feet. And you were like, oh, that's just gross. I feel like... <laughs> Here's your back in the wedding, the foot washing like, ceremony. I remember you talking about it. Anyway. All right. Uh, uh, Floyd, you've done a lot of yoga. What's up? Well, yeah. I, th- I think that maybe my, my answer is probably skewed from my background. I think it's because we, we tended to... You were a yogi? You were a yogi I at one point? I was a yogi at one point. Guru. Uh, I think it's the, the religious background that I came from, we tended to over-spiritualize everything. Okay. And so any of the any of those things we would have over spiritualized as well, right? So everything had a spiritual connotation. Sure. So uh, that makes sense. What was the original question? Why do they have a problem with it? So why yeah. does it seem like? And again, this is like a, a pretty broad stereotype yeah, of Christians in general. Accurate. But it's why do Christians seem to to look down on things, even as mild as a breathing exercise? Right. Yeah. Does it feel like uh, it, maybe this just in general? When I meet Christians. They're always about everything at its origin or conception or how it's been used once. So if somebody's used yoga to worship the devil, 
yoga is now for worshiping the devil. Right. Or if somebody's a pagan and does something, this must be a pagan exercise. Yeah. I'm like, well, pagans also, you know, use a toilet. Yeah. Like, so using toilets aren't... Oh, yeah. The association it's is evil. constantly like, if you're doing some, if you do something religious that I don't agree with, and then you associate anything with that, that is all now, so, now also pagan. And I think that's the problem, is, as opposed to being like, hey, is there something to twisting your body in a certain direction that's going to help bring you some back relief? I mean, do you, do you feel like you have to... Do, if I do, what is it, downward dog? Yeah. Like, if I do downward dog, am I all of a sudden like a devil worshiper or whatever? I don't even know what they associate with. I mean, with. I would have gone with the warrior pose, but... Is there, an up, is there an upward dog? I, there's an up dog, for sure. It's up. <laughs> what's, what's up though? <laughs> Nothing what's up with you <laughs> Actually uh, I, know what you're, I know why you're saying that But downward dog's amazing yeah. Like for your back yeah. Child's pose too Child, It is good yeah. All that stuff feels really good to stretch The warrior with. pose doesn't feel like it's good for you It feels like a workout It, it is It's a lot yeah, of work very There's like variations Exhausting Yeah there's a lot of one, variations yeah. Yeah. Five uh, I did is there a five? The only mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. I've really done yoga Was when I went through P90X And mm-hmm. they have a they have an extreme yoga. It's like Yoga X or something. Yeah. Uh, it is. It was exhausting. Mm, like yeah. I was destroyed yeah. by the end of that. Was like it like it was, uh, Kundalini when they had like the? Oh, hey, <laughs> it's a like a. I mean, it's a family podcast. How about we not? <laughs> did you guys have nobody like, wants a Kundalini was, with was you, it man. In like a sauna or in like Jeez. a really? Did you have the heater on? Hot, and hot really yoga. Hot? No, it's basically no, 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 no. Hot uh, yoga. I don't. I don't believe that. That's. I actually. If we're going to talk about sin, that is a sin. Okay, what hot is, yoga is an absolute what is, sin. I'm what is the line humanity. where you can make that association? Thank you. So this is where I was going. Like, where, what is the actual line? Remember, then? a few weeks ago, we actually talked about uh, Floyd brought it up of a Christian lady using tarot cards to pray. Right. So where are we at? Because tarot here's the deal. cards. You, you found yoga. the line. <laughs> you <laughs> actually yeah. just you found, found it. it. You found the line. It was tarot cards. Because yoga, uh, someone I know actually thinks yoga in general is bad. Like there isn't, you can't use it for good. And I'm like, you mean the stretching? And they were dead serious. Like, yeah, the, uh, that's, it's bad because like you said, yeah. it started in this, which I was it's, like, first of all, origins. I don't even know if that's true. Eastern, I don't know how Eastern yoga mysticism is yeah. so connected with Eastern mysticism. I was going to say, you mentioned like the over-spiritualization when there are things that are tied to it in that way. Mm-hmm. When you're, you know, if you're instead of praying and there's mantras you can say, but you can say like, Jesus is exactly. love or something like that. Exactly. Why see. can't I just stretch? Right. What, when, what if I just cool. want to stretch? What if all of a sudden, like, you know, you're on the ground, you start, like, doing, like, you're arching your back, and someone's like, stop, the devil's going to come here. He sees the position your body's in. Like, like you, if, you, if they're like, no, I don't mean that, I'm like, but you kind of do. You kind mm. of mean that. Right. Because unless I'm doing some sort of, even the idea of somebody who meditates, like, what's the line in meditation? If they're meditating on, the Bible says, Meditate, meditate on that on which is scripture. good. Right. Yeah. And literally general, that which is right. good. Yeah. So if you're literally just meditating on good things, that's a Bible verse. And I right. think it means, I think Christians would, and I don't, I don't mean to say Christians, I mean that demographic of Christians who kind of see it that way, would probably argue that there's a difference in those. And I, I think, and it's again, it's like, when do you get to, I think it's, when do you get to the place where someone's like, okay, no. Your spirit guide will take him. I'm out. Yeah. You got me. Now, well, you, now you figured out. Sure. Now you figured out. Like, yeah. No, I'm it's not doing that. It's also the difference of uh, why Christians will be okay with Lord of the Rings, but not Harry Potter. Right. Like, and, and I really am intrigued by that because I'm like, I think you, those are two of the, they're virtually the same movie. Uh, oh. It's funny is, do you, ever, do, you ever, yeah. do you ever use those arguments with certain Christians? You're like, well, that's like, you know, you know, the Bible, I mean, not the Bible, Christmas is on, uh, you know, not on Jesus' actual birthday. And they're like, and that's why I don't celebrate. I'm like, oh, okay, then. this has gone the wrong way for no, me. No, you're absolutely I'm like, right. It's gone the wrong way. Those are actually my favorite. By the way, like, oh. Kegel shared something with me, theologians arguing that December 25th is more likely well, I, Jesus' I, birthday. Here's my favorite part. Oh, Couldn't care less. I know, but it yep. was interesting. It's the first time in a while, and they actually went through the why people say it's a pagan holiday. And it was just, it's just fascinating. Oh, I have heard... Countless guys arguing back and forth about all that stuff. Were they doing yoga? They always doing yoga. <laughs> I, it doesn't. So I'm just tell you right now, real quick, why Jesus' birthday. I just is. don't. I don't think it has bearing on anything that we're doing or saying. It has bearing on whether or not he gets celebrated on his birthday. Wouldn't yeah. that be sad? Right. I mean, that's kind of. Oh my gosh! I saw a video of a guy who. Oh no! It was for the Super Bowl. He set up like a whole party. 
bunch of pizza and drinks and stuff. Nobody showed Please up. Please tell me the wrong day. And no one showed up. Oh, what? It was so sad. No way. I mean, it was annoying because his girlfriend was filming it, but... Oh, wait, it was real? Yeah. Some, she's like, my boyfriend set up a Super Bowl party, invited all his friends, pizza. He was like... And then he just sat on the couch and just ate pizza by himself. Oh, what, what's oh weird God. is the Super Bowl hasn't happened yet. No, so it was is, like a... This is a, a prophecy. From, no, there's a subreddit where I've seen a few of those where it was like, oh, we invited all our friends sense. from work. The worst ones are like, they RSVP'd and totally said they were yeah. all coming. And nobody shows up, and you're like, it's the saddest thing. I threw Lisa a birthday party the first year we were dating, and only her mom and dad showed up. That's not real. It's a real story. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It was in college, and everybody just canceled. They just all kept canceling. Are you serious? It was, at, it was on campus, too. It was horrible. Hold on. It was horrible. <laughs> so, and only her mom so and dad were there? Yeah. Did you show up? Yeah, it was me and No, my dad. Joe left. He's like, this, this party <laughs> blows. Sucks. I'm out of here. <laughs> We're the cool people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is amazing. It was terrible. It was so bad. I, I was mortified. Yeah, I can't mm. fathom how mortified you were. She was probably just, was fantastic. She, 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 yeah. was she was like, she didn't sport. care. Yeah, she was yeah. like, whatever. Like, she's like, I don't care about these dicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> it was literally, it was her mom and her dad. Yeah, so that, was, I, that wasn't good. That was, uh, and it was kind of a last minute thing I threw together, so I was kind of asking for it. Yeah. By yeah, not yeah. doing a better job of planning. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to bring that question all the way around, I just realized... Uh, I don't think I think the line would have to be so uh, individual. Like I can't. I don't have a line. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you when something goes too far until it actually happens. Okay, I'm gonna give you. So some, that's my thing. I like this because uh, I was with somebody and they're you know a therapist and they went to they always do all these different cross training stuff and they had somebody there who was a, a trusted source type of therapist teacher whatever. And they're laying down, and this person is hitting some sort of like, a, I don't even know what it'd be like, but it would bong, you know, and it's a vibration tool or whatever. And it, Ooh. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and it was great. But no, so they did this, and this person who normally I would say is very open to different experiences. I'm going to keep going. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm with going. you. Oh, yeah. I'm with uh -huh. you, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and they were like, this is some bullshit. It's an hour long, and they're just like, seriously, yeah. what the F? Mm. This is stupid. Sure. Yeah. And so I actually feel like so I've wait, been in those did, moments. Did they say I'm not doing it because it's stupid or I'm not doing it because it's it's got some spiritual connotations. It was like it. a mixture of like, what the hell are we doing? There was this and I think I think that was the only reason I'm bringing that up is because I feel like sometimes there's some spiritual stuff where I'm like, it's just a feeling like what? This feels yeah. weird. I don't even know why, but I did, I, I'm not into it. Yeah, so I had and think about this if you guys have ever had us in experience like that where you're like, ooh, this is too far. Mine was, um, I've gotten to travel all over the world, and I was in Japan at the time, uh, and we went to, what was it? It was like this uh, garden zen monk kind of area, yeah. cool thing. It was super cool. And when I travel, I am very respectful of the culture. I, I'm going to do what you think is honorable, even if I think it's weird or stupid, or even if there's a spiritual very, connotation. Very uncomfortably making anime references I'm cool the with whole that. time, just, just trying to force them in there. I, I have, feel like he can connect. I've prayed about it a manga? ton, and I'm like... Manga? Yes, yeah. manga. <laughs> I've prayed about it a ton, and I'm like, if there is something, God, that I shouldn't do, let me know. But for the most part, I'm going to try and honor the culture so that I can talk to them about you. So that's fine. We go to this one place, and they were showing us, uh, they were Christian samurais back in the day, which was probably the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And they were legit Christians who were samurais. And they would put little crosses inside their armor in really secret places inside their swords. It's a very small group that is like kind of known now as to be this awesome thing. Most of them are dead because they lost all their fights. They weren't good at fighting. The well, right. most They're of them were dead, dead just because it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were like amazing. They one dude protected an entire village from an on like an army that was a, that was attacking, and he was like they. No, and he was a total Christian dude and defended the entire village against this army by himself. Amazing. Decapitated almost as many people as Jesus did. Like, no, he crazy. was, that's what's funny about it. And so we're going through it, and there was this thing that they used to do that the samurais would bring, the, the non-Christian samurais would bring the village out, and they would have these metal plates. I think they were gold or brass or something like that. Big metal plates. They, they had the uh, Jesus and Mary on them. 
they'd set them on the ground and they'd say, you know, you guys are all Christians in this village. Uh, we're going to slaughter all of you unless you step on this image of Mary and, and Jesus. They and hadn't even finished saying it when the people were just stepping on it. The they, didn't, plates, they didn't finish talking. Well, that's what's kind of sad. They just, they just started stomping. Really the, the plates were like worn out because so many people Aww. had like denied their faith and Aww. all this crazy now, stuff. Now you made it sad. Well, no, I mean, it was bad. bad. Uh, and uh, so they're showing us all this stuff and they're actually saying like, you guys can step on these too. And I'm like, okay, what? Why would I do this? And then we walk by. I tell this whole story because that you get through this whole kind of tour, and they're like, okay, now that you've seen all this stuff in this monastery type thing, here is the, the, like the entrance where they kind of had their, it wasn't like their God's kind of ancestor spirit yeah. type thing. Right. And they were like, it's just cultural to bow before oh, our gods and you ancestors. You found my line. You and found I, my line. I nope. froze, and I was like, I don't bow to anything. Yeah, no, you no, you got that. And they were literally like, oh, no, 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 it's not worship. It's nothing like that. And dude, it was a few minutes of me being like, I love you, right? but I don't bow to things. Like, yeah. I just, I can't do it. And they're like, no, it'd be like if you bowed to, and I'm like, but I don't. Yeah. And it was super awkward because I'm like, I will do almost anything in your culture because it's cultural, right. this felt, and it was weird because I genuinely had this feeling of like, this feels spiritual. Yeah. yeah. And I might have been totally wrong, but at the time no I way. stood my ground and I was like, I can't bow to an ancestor. I can no. only bow to God. I'm so sorry. And yeah. this just entered my head. Like, when you greet another person there, do you kind of bow to them? Was it different because it was like an idol? So I did think that because yeah. I did think right. there's plenty of places that are will bow to a person. Martial arts, sure. martial yeah. arts is yeah. totally fine yeah. as an honoring thing. And I, I remember being like, it wasn't, and I don't know why. It just didn't feel like I that. I get it. I, I get it. That, that was weird. Hand. And because okay. there's a, literally a statue, a statue in this thing. Yeah, so right. I'm like, I'm bowing to an idol. Like, You're insane. That's connect. very biblical. Like, yeah. I'm not doing that. Okay. Yeah. And then, so uh, in Israel, at the Western Wall, uh, you, wore, you wear a yarmulke. Really? really, Joe? Uh, yeah. I mean, if, if we're like, it's, it's a COVID-free zone, though. So like, people go there who don't have COVID. Well, they, they <laughs> wear uh, the yarmulke. They just put it on their face. On their face. Really? Like, yeah. actually, if you had COVID, you could have still made a trip to Israel and it been fine. They Some people care. just backed out. Yeah, like, yeah. Some people are like, oh, well, man, I got COVID. I can't backed go. Backed out's a kind way to say mm, they but, really... Yeah, worse. they're just... They're like, oh, I pretend I have a bad knee. I pretend I have COVID. And yeah. then they just avoid an Israel trip. All Some right. Do all, all strong men can come to, like, Israel. Oh, no. I just don't... I don't meet that criteria. There are some certain stretches you had to perform. He was trying them here. We're like, nope. They yeah, that clearly doesn't pass there. Uh, does Flex cut the mustard. Uh, but so would you... And I, I, again, I'm just asking, you wear the yarmulke if you're at the I, Western I have Wall? worn a, a yarmulke a number of times. Yeah. Absolutely. Isn't that funny how that's different? No problem with the yarmulke. Right. Yeah, me too. I was like, absolutely. Yeah. I don't, I, because it's the true and living God. They're but just, they're just, whether or not they've accepted Jesus is the Mashiach from so the true and living God. So that's interesting. Because it's the true and living I, God. I've thought that too. I wear it like as a true American, though. I like tilt it off to the side. It's like, got an American flag so, on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's all kind of like, it's Still much cooler when it. I wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep the tag on. Yeah. Is that a sure. monster truck on your yarmulke? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's eating a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Israel. That made me think of Israel Adesanya uh, for some odd reason. Uh, you, well, let's get a Reddit question. The, the you, got, you got some questions? Yeah. I just watched him uh, get beat twice by the same guy. Oh, that's yeah, great. It was, it was amazing. Well, Ryan mentioning people that are famous in his world and not mine. It's true. Josh they knows don't them. don't know who it is. Hey, is that another drifter? Get out World's more. most famous drifter of all time? And I don't mean car. <laughs> I, actually, I don't mean is, car. I, I mean a guy who just goes from town to town. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant like the world's most famous grifter. That's <laughs> yeah. a different one too. I actually want to meet that, <laughs> yeah, I that person. I want to know. <laughs> Isn't it funny that if you're the most famous grifter, no actually, one knows. No you. one would know if you're you. You're good at this. They don't you're know. so good at it. Unless you know, you know who that, those guys get known. They get hired by the government. So I that's have, what they do. I have found that to be probably the worst goal of my life is to be so good at something bad that the government hires. That's you. like the goal. That They're is like, like the goal. Like those types of guys who are like the counterfeit guys who that are like, art, you're so art, good at counterfeit. Art thieves. Uh, you know what I mean? They're just like... The LimeWire guy. Oh, they yeah. ended up hiring him to f track people who use LimeWire. How cool is that? Yeah. It's so good. The Catch Me If You Can movie, the Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Yep. 
Any, was so good because yeah. it was based on a true well, story. Any of the hackers who are like, you Dang. know, they just, they're like, What's oh. that show on USA? Is it Blue Collar? He's like the art thief Oh, yeah. Guy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, That's Lost, it. where they're on the island. <laughs> <laughs> they, no? <laughs> no, it's something like, it's like, it's something like that. that. Right. You're getting it there. It's, All right. You got something going on there. So we're on Ask Reddit here, and uh, this is actually, this is good. What show did you start and wound up hating so much you didn't finish it? Or oh. I'm going to add to that. What show did you start? You realized you loved it and finished it. How many episodes? How many episodes in? Because you can't just watch them for five minutes and say you hate it. Like you, maybe a couple episodes in, or you just say I think five you minutes. have to get through two to three. Right, because it's not fair two to, to just be like the, no. you didn't like the beginning. That's yeah, not yeah. really the same thing. Uh, it is really funny that I just jokingly said Lost because Lost was probably at the time was like the greatest show I'd ever seen. And then it just got ruined by the last season to the point where I was like, this was so dumb and not wrapped up correctly. And I was done. Heroes by season, the beginning, end of season oh, two. I was oh. like, I'm out. I didn't even know what happened. I, didn't Heroes. Have, I tried the beginning of season good. three. Heroes how good season was one. Heroes? Season one was like, this might be one of the greatest shows of all time. I was so in and so excited. They were making such good decisions. Yeah. And then I feel like they were like, wait, we got picked up for another season? We don't yeah. know what to do. No, they, just they weren't seriously didn't have fun. What was the the bad guy, the watchmaker si- Siler? Was that his name? S- yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah. want to say it's Siler. Yeah, yeah. 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 not Skyler. Dude, oh that gosh. was awesome. It's so good. That was the, probably the one of the first shows of a live action take on like superpowers that I. Yeah. I mean, well, it was a, li- a, it was a little. Siler it was a was little more actor. gritty. It was, be, you know, this is pre the boys, pre it Invincible. Was very you know, yeah. it was a little more gritty. I mean, it wasn't very gritty, but for the, at the time, it was like, right. whoa. I mean, heroes are like normal and yeah. they have feelings. There was and different X-Men things. before that. I can't think of anything else. That yeah. was the most realistic. Uh, uh, opposite would be, you know, who else made one uh, season and didn't think they'd get another one was The Last Kingdom. And then they just killed it for four more seasons. Last but Kingdom But they wrapped one up the... season one like we're never getting another season. Right. And like, just kidding. Didn't they wrap up every season like that? Yeah. Every season like was like they're not going to get another series. one. Yeah. And it just kept getting better. Right. I right. think Last Kingdom is one of the better shows. Um, that you didn't expect to be good, right? Didn't expect it to be good. Yeah. Were there any shows that you started watching like, this is just, this is trash? I'm trying to think of the trash ones. Uh, that, I feel like most things I watch right now are trash. Which one? Barbarians. Interesting. Barbarians is one that I, I got a couple few in and was like, I don't, I'm yeah. like, it doesn't hold my interest one bit. Yeah, like two or three episodes and I was Stupid. like, this yeah. is so dumb. You know what I didn't like? And I just saw some of it with Lisa, but Norseman. No, <laughs> no oh, it, it was bad, actually. I know. That's what I was, was saying. I didn't mind Willow. That. And I love oh, the movie. Oh, haven't Willow. even started it. Oh, the, uh, George Lucas. The, it's yeah. Um, so they're doing like the it's not series. About George Lucas. It is about him actually. It's just mean. He's it's not an that autobiography. Short. Yeah, He's it, not. Isn't that it? Short. Is. <laughs> <laughs> he plays all. It's a it's a one man series. He plays all the characters. He's it's Willow. Like Eddie he's Eddie Murphy Martigan. does it. <laughs> He's everybody. He's just all, running around on he's set. He's every one of them. He's uh, he's uh, Ella, Eleanor, Delore, whatever her name is. Anyway, but uh, I got about I, first episode. I go, oh, this. No, this is bad. And but, then yeah. another one, I'm like, oh, this is bad. Actually, you know what I don't like that much, but I'll keep watching, is The Mandalorian. I, I just, it's so kiddy. I would agree. I don't think The Mandalorian is done very well, but I enjoy It's entertaining. I still me. watch it. I still watch it, but it's like, um, it could just be so much better. I watched season one, and I, I keep meaning to watch more. I mean, I just yeah. haven't. I think it's the not, first couple seasons great. were good. Was, was the other one is the... The, what you ended up loving, so you watched it. And ended well, up I just on. added that on, like, oh. yeah, what show did it? So a show that I ended up hating was it's called The Peripheral, something like that. It's a newer oh, show. I with, liked it. You had told me about that. It. I haven't no. seen it yet. It's I, not perfect, but I like it. Not, no, the, do the you like her? Let me ask you this: Do you uh, like well, her? I liked her in like a uh, Kickass. Okay, I mean that's all I really know. Her I'm from. just saying, like sometimes like, maybe it's because I think she's cool and yeah. I think her brother's cool. Well, and I and maybe I didn't get enough episodes into it, but the first episode was enough to make me go, I hate this. Oh, I. I really liked it. Actually, I was I was actually pretty taken in the first episode. I haven't started it yet. But I really like her. That helps. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think she's Well, that's a score stud. for the show. Yeah. yeah. Like, if casting. Like, it helps. Like, you're like, oh, I'll keep... Like, if, if The Rock's in anything terrible, Dwayne Johnson's anything terrible, I'm still watching it. Uh, I will watch... Uh, Black Adam? I will watch... Yeah, I watched it. It was terrible. Everything that but The I Rock is him. in. I will watch. I, I'm not saying I'll, I'll like it. I will watch everything The Rock is in. I love the guy. Yeah. Even the Black Adam, I was like, okay, I'm entertained just because he's in a well, terrible he movie. He looks like a superhero. Terrible movie. He was terrible. He, yeah. he, he went Christian Bale Batman through the whole movie. 
Uh, it, it just growled through all of it. Like, it, was, it was like one note anger mode. It was not the great. entire movie. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but it started with like when he started like just whooping up on me. Like, okay, mm -hmm. all right. right. But again, th and with then that, the rest of the movie happened. The main thing that confused me was that it felt like the theme was good and evil. It's not black and white, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And then at the very end, he's fighting this demonic, totally black and white devil creature. I'm like, yeah. this is totally black and white. Yeah. That's how that's well, how dumb the directors of that movie think we are. Yep. They're like, no, you need black and white. You're Let's dumb. talk about what a show that I thought. Oh, I thought we were getting serious. He's like, oh, was <laughs> he is? <laughs> I I knew nothing about it. I started it randomly. I was like, this is horrible, and now I've, I don't know what to do that I keep... Is the physical 100. How far are you in? On Netflix. I'm only three it. or four episodes. I'm so only the first three, I've I think. seen as many as they've released. I, I watched, which I, is four, maybe. Okay, I don't know. it's only seen There's three. There's not many. Yeah. It's, it's poorly done. It's terribly well, it's, stupid. It's all in it's, it's all in Korean and it's dubbed. Uh, yes. is it Korean? Yeah, it is it Korean. Japanese, Korean. It is Korean. I thought it was Japanese. It is yeah. Korean. Yeah, it's Korean. It is. So it is the closest North Korean thing to. Too. That's what's weird. It is obviously not Squid Games, but they, <laughs> that'd actually be a way more like Squid Games. <laughs> it would be more. Like it actually Squid more like Squid Games. Uh, I love it. I basically. But here's the problem: is I fast forward through all the backstory. Oh my gosh. I have not seen that ounce yeah, of backstory. A 50 minute episode has 20 minutes of. What, what is the backstory between each uh, contestant? It's Every contestant. It, and it leads up to it a lot. So they'll open up and be like just a ton of backstory. I just go to the competitions because right. the competitions are interesting. They do a great job. Every episode has a cliffhanger. They, you, they do the best, the best competition. And like right at the end, they cut roll credits to the next. And you're like, Smart. oh, and now I got it. Here's what's fascinating. What they're showing the entirety of the competition. There's a there's a hundred people. Yeah. So fifty so fifty matches of wrestling over a. But they finally a, started editing. That. Did they do that? Yeah. They finally because started like, just doing the winner of because they kind of went anime where like six episodes yeah. for one fight. Like they were doing, and I liked it. I was actually really. But into it was it. weird that they're like it's a three minute fight that took six minutes. Yeah. You're like because they kept doing slow motion and then right. they would go the back and you're like, jeez, like, well, it's like Record was, of Ragnarok you were showing us. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so good. I was super irritated because I, I thought the entire series, the entire I season I did too was when there, I started watching and it. And I started watching it and yeah. then it gets to the cliffhanger and I'm like, oh, and I'm stuck at home. I've got nothing to do and I'm like, Mm -hmm. Horrible. It was so mad, yeah. But like an oddly entertaining show. Yeah. I, I loved it. So, but again, I'm probably the bad, like if I'm Fast forwarding through forty minutes of the sixty, maybe I don't love it. I, fast I just love so the much. competition. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, that's I could do this all day long. I could do ask Reddit. Yeah. I could just read Reddit. Yeah. I, that's I. Uh, that's where I lose most of my time. Where I lose track of yeah. life yeah. is is on Reddit. It's on Reddit or YouTube for me. Actually, TikTok scare videos. I don't know why. They, they, yeah, and they're, you get lost. And in they're that. never yeah. repeating it's anymore. It's actually just on the reverse so camera. Many, yeah, I'm just looking at them. <laughs> so <laughs> many people. Are uploading them. I was telling Lisa that so uh, when Vine was around, you brought up Vine on Sunday. Oh, Vine yeah. When was Vine great. was around, they had like three scare compilations, and I just watched those over and over again because right, there weren't right. very many. TikTok, uh, all day long, never seeing the same scares. Love like, it. Do you, Endless. Does it actually scare? Like, what's the entertaining factor for you? I just like seeing people get scared. Uh, oh, it's people getting scared. Yeah, yeah it's not like they're uh, scaring you. No, and like the and they and they do some funny ones. And ones like uh, they play the I feel good. So when you're, you're getting scared ah! by a song, yeah. the fact that you're getting scared by a song, I don't know why. And the meows, more people are meowing oh, to scare people. Meow. And I... Which is, yeah, it's hilarious. It's just genius. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> the best... So I'm like, I'm getting this place, so I like, I'm looking for something. The angry response is all I want. Right. I just yeah. want you to be mad. I want you to be scared so bad. This one lady was flipping dough, and they did the I feel good. It landed in her, in her smock. And she's just looking pissed with a giant piece of dough in her smock. And I'm like, this is the greatest video. It's so good. What, do, what else do we have from? Another good one here is uh, on Ask Reddit. What are things we have today due to religion? Oh. I, mean, I, have, I, have, I was going to say, I have all negatives. <laughs> I have all my brain with um, all the yeah. negatives. Isn't interesting, right? What do we have today due to religion? I don't like... That my I feel like that's more cultural because my brain went to negatives also and I don't yeah, like no it. it's all I mean get here do me a favor you are Let's saying religion different. though Let's do something different get give me a couple answers I'd be curious to see where does their where does everybody's mind because like I'd be like you got Jesus 
Do you know what I mean? Like, right. are you, you going to go negative or you got hope? You got so, but I, I'm, I'm wondering things. if a lot of that stems from the fact that it uses the word religion. Sure. Because like it's not asking what, what do we have as a result of God. Right. Because I'm like love and yeah. peace and joy, like all these great things. Yeah. It's religion, which in my mind immediately goes to a man-made Negative, institution. Yeah. yeah. More than Jesus. Yeah. So I think that's why I just I, I realized I shifted the, the It seems the top answer here is the Gregorian calendar system. Okay. That's mm. a that's a I don't know if that's a positive or it's factual. Right. Or just like it's a, like a statement of yeah, information. Uh, solar calendar based on a three sixty five day typical year, basically the calendar we mm-hmm. have today. What else? So they're they're almost going invention in that sense. Like right. what is right. what is what has been birthed through religion and even in a way that is n- neither good nor bad, just oh, is. interesting. Someone says good beer. Most of the good European beer that comes out true. of monasteries mm-hmm. because yeah. monks yeah. found a way to cheat on fasting by just drinking. So Interesting. Uh, That's good. That's interesting. Wow. There's an Irish pub here in town called The Body in the Bog, um, owned by, like, the story was, I don't even know how true this is, but that his wife owned the shopping center. Mm-hmm. And so he got to open this, this. He's always wanted to open an Irish pub. She gave it to him. He could be there for free. So he had like the funniest customer service. He didn't care because <laughs> right, he didn't he, need to sell anything. Right. So if he liked you, he was awesome. If he didn't, you're not getting a drink. And so we walked in and we were just <laughs> having a good time. There were a bunch of Irish people in there. And uh, I walked in and I was like, hey, we got, we got to know him a little bit. And I don't drink at all. So I have no idea. And I said, hey, for fun, Give me, he had, you know, 200 specialty beers from all over the world. Super cool. And I was like, give me the strongest thing you have. Because up until this point, I've had Budweiser and right. you know, all these light things. Boo. And I was like, I want the strongest thing you have. And he's like, oh, this is fun. And he goes to the back and he comes out with a coffee, a clear coffee cup, coffee mug with a saucer and sets it down and it's steaming and it's hot. And I'm like, did you just bring me coffee? And he goes, try it. And it was the strongest, and it, had, it was packed with nutrients and stuff. And he explained that exact story. And he said back when they invented this, this monastery was trying to fast for longer and longer periods of time, and this is what gave them sustenance. And he was like, and you had a really good time while you were fasting. Hmm. It w- and it tasted very much like coffee with alcohol. Like Weird. it was very much coffee. He had the recipe Gross. for that? I, he brings it in. It's he funny. Is those are like yeah, yeah. two things that the world is split on whether they think it tastes good or not. Sure. Coffee and beer. Coffee. Like Which are, I mean, two of the most bitter things gross. you can put in one drink. So, yeah. and that is more, uh, uh, what's it called? Not hereditary, but it's like genetic. A, just yeah, genetic. It's genetic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's, it's whether you like bitter or not. Like cilantro. Yes, yeah. it's, it's similar it to like cilantro. soap or not. But I was tripping out that it I was... I like it. I, cilantro, I love I, cilantro. Yeah. Take oh, it or leave it. I love I'm literally it. on the middle ground. So don't care. That, that doesn't... What? It doesn't register. I know. Yeah. don't care. It's like whatever. Could take it or leave it. I love... I, cilantro is one of my favorite things ever. And I hate beer and coffee. All right, so, let's, let's yeah. get a different question. That's, sure. That one's fine. Those were good. I was actually glad to hear their answers. Those were cool. Yeah. Uh, on Ask Reddit, what's going to be a problem 20 years from now that people are choosing to ignore? Oh, man, we could open to some serious cans here. Yeah. Uh, we can even continue it on. Uh, we are almost an hour. Okay. I don't. So we'll end with this. So we'll end, this is what we're ending with, you're saying? We'll end with this, I, this I question. I feel like we've got to end with one more. Well, this you one don't want can, this one? We can unpack. You feel like this one's going to bring bad things out, like uh, uncomfortable yeah. conversations? Not uncomfortable. Uh, divisive. For sure divisive. Like So just to give a couple, uh, 20 years will be a problem. Well, I think they've already reconciled the zero bail. I'm just being super honest. That was a really bad idea. Yeah. The zero bail. and they, But they saw that already, so they stopped it. So uh, yeah, Turning a lot of crimes into misdemeanors, I geez. think later you will find that that's a bad idea. I think my, the first thing I thought was stuff like climate change, the impact of electric cars, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, but I can't think of more divisive things to, to talk about. The, the decriminalization of hard, hard drugs. Man, that, so we just brought this up. My buddy is in British Columbia. They decriminalized cocaine. For, just go to the meth. big one. Heroin. The big one. And meth. And last one you said fentanyl. fentanyl. Yeah, you and said fentanyl. You were looking yeah, at it, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. How? That's how? How? What are you doing? I don't even get it. 
I so seriously don't get it. We were talking. I was talking to my buddy about it because I'm like, do you think it's something in terms of, or he may have said this, uh, you know how it's like, well, it's really difficult to climb out of that lifestyle if you also add on to addiction the shame of just being thrown in jail every other day. And I'm like, sure, but to simply decriminalize it. I don't like, know why. I, I don't know why the people leading these discussions and law changes aren't people <laughs> who were addicted to heroin and who were addicted to fentanyl and who were addicted, like I feel like the inf- get that group together and they're like hey guys I know you're trying to help but this is this, bad this, the only way I didn't die is I went to jail that was the only thing that kept me from overdosing on heroin Seriously. you know like I don't get I'm it. intrigued by it because I'm like you could probably make the argument that heroin isn't going to cause you to hurt other people. Right. So just yourself. You're just, you just, you'll just OD. What I had said to my buddy is I was like, oh, yeah, I, the stigma of you being a child molester is really bad. We don't want you to have that stigma, so we're going to make it legal. And I'm like, that, that's kind of what it sounds like to me. It's like, the, we don't want you to have that stigma. And I'm like, but it's so bad. Right. Then I thought, well, it's because you're harming somebody else. Right. So I, you could probably argue heroin. You basically you know, fade off into yourself. But I'm no. like... There, there are many instances I can think where you do hurt other people. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, but especially you're, meth and cocaine. The, the aggression. Where suddenly now you're aggressive as all get yeah, up. I'm like... I mean, I, there deal. are people are who... terrible. They'll be on heroin and they're operating machinery. You know, driving a car. That's a good point. You know, yeah, or yeah. They, they, you know, I've had instances, I've had things, I've personally had experiences where I've had things stolen from people on heroin because yeah. it just felt like the right thing that they, that they wanted it, you know? I do wonder about the, and you guys might know more than, about this than I do, so I might be speaking from just ignorance, the idea of all going to everything electric using batteries but not knowing how to properly dispose of batteries that aren't bad. Like, I think that's a, I feel like... Th- Probably to dispose of batteries that are bad. Well, I'm saying like, no, I'm saying they don't know. So they basically, we don't know how to do it in a good way. We're oh, only doing oh it the, in a bad the way. way of disposal. Oh, right. I see so right now, yeah, 20 yeah. years from yeah. now, you have this massive amount of batteries yeah. and solar panels. And I get the positive from them. But I think it's weird to not be like, but we all know that we don't know how to get yeah. rid of this well, stuff. Well, and though, also right? the demand, like we've far exceeded like the... Co- the, the, the amount of cobalt that we can mine at a time. And so now they're using like horrific conditions to mine cobalt. Right. And so we're like, well, that's needed. And if we're, we're talking about, which no one even thinks is true anymore, but like 2030, it's going to be 100% electric cars in California. And it's like, that's, we know that's not yeah, going to happen. Yeah, Joe Rogan's podcast. That, that guy was on. Oh, yeah, the videos. cobalt stuff. That was insane. Was and I'm like, terrible. That, that, and I'm intrigued. I'm interested to see what happens since Tesla just lowered their prices. Yeah. So Tesla lowered their prices fairly significantly, in my opinion. Thirteen and a half thousand dollars. That's a lot of money to drop off a price of a car. And I think it's it's more like it depends on which model. The right. Three, it like all makes sense. Yeah, about, yeah. about fifteen twenty percent of their cars. That's in, and it's insane. Okay, so yeah, like, let me that's ask you crazy. this. Let me ask you this. Is there anything like that you could see? You guys, you guys follow the news. Anything like gasoline, you know, like in the 50s, they wash their clothes with gasoline. Will there be anything like that in 20 years? We're like, hey, maybe we shouldn't wash our clothes with gasoline. So I think electricity and water. Uh, So if you look kind of over the historical timetable as far as uh, water shortages, nothing has been more devastating to regions than when there's a legit water shortage. Mm -hmm. And I think we're way better now than we've ever been. So we may not come to this point. But, like, one of the, the last mass graves that we found in California was because of a water shortage. Yeah. And there were, like, the tribes and the, and the groups warred with each other. Because if you don't have water, you've got two days. It's different when you're starving. You might yeah. be able, you know, like, I know tribes that are starving now and eat tree bark to stay alive. Yeah. And you're like, that's terrible. But water, you've got about two days before you're going to die. Oh, I, I remember during the, the massive drought, we've been in a drought until this year. But the, during that massive we're drought, we're still in one. We're, we're just yeah. in the lowest category, There's, but we're still considered no, a drought. No, we're not. But anymore. remember, people were going Luke to. Luke just showed me the chart oh, did he? from PGD. Did we, oh, yeah. yeah. People okay. were going to local communities, you know, it would ironically, communities like Atwater, which yeah. is called Atwater, <laughs> <I know>. Modesto. <laughs> and there are communities that, that they're, you know, it was affecting their whole the people's wells and yeah. the aqueduct and. Yeah. Uh, Pardon me, aquifer, and 
they weren't having water, so they'd have to bring cases of water. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I, never, I didn't think about that. And they'd have to use them, you know, recycle the water for the Well, here's usage. what's yeah. weird. Here's what's weird. There's enough water produced in the Midwest to, to satisfy the entire country. Why are they not just routing that to the Colorado River and just dumping it? Because they're actually getting too much water in the Midwest yeah. and in the southern regions. I just don't even understand. It. It's like, probably going into water bottles. Well, I actually think there will be a point... If we if we keep because here's the thing I mean we're on a cycle so who knows things might yeah. be fine right in we're doing better five ten years uh, but if things kept going really really bad we would absolutely figure out a way yeah to you know desalinization some water. something desalinization is great right. yeah like it's it's possible All I right. think okay do you have something more positive to end on sure yeah, something good yeah if syrup isn't available what are you putting on your pancakes. Well, this, is a, this is an Eli Bukowski question, which is nothing. He eats them dry. He does Disgusting. eat them dry. Uh, but does he okay. Eat, but does he eat All right, let's or go. choose Let's go. Corn? Go through it. So I love butter. Mm-hmm. Butter's on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, peanut butter and I knew, jelly I knew you were on say a this. pancake is so good. Peanut butter and jelly? You're saying it's good. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Like, have, I'll do it when I have syrup. I was, say, you, I was just going to ask you. Yes. You have syrup and you would do that. Yes. Peanut butter, jelly, and syrup? No, uh, I, well, I will put syrup is, on there, but the question is without if syrup. syrup isn't available. So I, all, I actually had it probably a month a ago where syrup. I made a waffle and I put peanut butter and jelly on it. Okay, I, I feel like a waffle changes it. I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like a waffle is different than I'm a actually more of a waffle guy than a pancake guy. I think pancakes are terrible. No, you do They're, not. What? You eat, I've seen you eat more pancakes and how than do I anything eat them? else How do I the eat them? Oh, that's so he, just, he even <laughs> describes <laughs> it as, I don't care about the pancake if this is a delivery system for the syrup and butter. But you, pancakes need so much syrup and butter to mostly, be good. Yeah. Right. I mean, every once in a while, I'll go to a place yeah. and like, someone's like, man, you could just eat this pancake. I'm like, you shut your yeah, mouth. Yeah, you go. Garnish but I mean, I'm with you. Pancakes. It's good. Yes, yeah. 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 I, it's true. I'm intrigued. Because so I love the, it, but you need the syrup. Yeah. I used to think Denny's pancakes were good, and they, they've they're terrible mm. now. Was Every that part of your forty dollar breakfast? Did you have some with your forty dollar breakfast? I did breakfast? have. You know what I had there were the crepes. Oh, okay, crepes they had a they had cream cheese and fruit crepes. Ooh. Delicious. Oh, there used to be a crepe factory here. Do you remember that? Yes, absolutely. They were so good. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, so what? Have you what guys have? ever done the sour cream? No. Sounds uh, gross. It's fantastic. I have actually. Yeah. On, on pancakes? Yeah. With syrup? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's something actually, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's really there's good. It's actually, uh, it's a kind of a Russian dish where it's pancakes made out of, with cottage cheese in the pancake, and then you serve it with jelly and Oh, you mix the cottage cheese in the batter? Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, so, okay, so what's your, what's your non-syrup pancake? Non-syrup? I'd say peanut butter and butter. Yeah. yeah. I'd have to okay. go a little bit of the sweet and salty. Okay. So how about you, Floyd? Yeah, probably peanut butter and honey. Oh. Oh, it's oh, honey. honey. That honey's a win. I mean, that's yeah. kind of a, a syrup. Yeah. I, yeah. Mine is, mine is yeah. straight in the trash can. I, ain't yeah. that I don't believe yeah. that at all. Nope. No I don't, way. I don't believe it either. No yeah. way. Yeah. Pancakes are horrible. So, uh, what's your favorite cookie? Uh, it's got to be soft, first of all. Really? Yeah, I don't like, Ooh, I don't like snickerdoodle. Cookies. I don't like. Uh, oh, and it's the the doodle is legit. Yeah, actually, the funny part is, I think a lot of cookies are good, uh, but typically something with chocolate in it, chocolate chip. But can, then maybe throwing some peanut butter in there, like peanut butter chunks. Not Ooh. Like can anything inside. beat a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie? It's just oh, so good, gosh, and especially so when they're soft. Do you like hard cookies? By the way, you you gave me the so only. Only the store bought one, so this is I'm what's with funny. You. I could eat Chips oh, Ahoy. Really? Chips Ahoy and Oreo, I think, are fantastic. I didn't even think about Oreo. I didn't even think about Oreo because it doesn't feel Oreo. like a cookie. But yes, but double stuff it, is right. If it's a homemade, yeah. see, I'm the opposite. I actually like the thin more than the double. Okay, stuff. Okay, I will eat both of those without milk, but there's nothing better than those with milk. Oh, it's nothing. Double better. stuffed Oreo in the freezer. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I don't. I think it's fine. I'm not that into it though. I think that there's a huge difference between the store bought and the. I just went to Eddie's Bakery the other yeah, day. Yeah. Mm. Um, Very popular. Had there. a bunch of time to kill. I had like an hour, and so I got a croissant and some cookies, mm. and just sat and worked on a sermon. And like, their cookies are real good. They're yeah. all soft and gooey. Yeah. Right. And, this is legit. And if it's yeah. that's a, you're right though. If it's a if it's a homemade or like a bakery thing, it's got to be soft. Here's the other thing. It usually is. Gross. Here's Yo. the other part is like uh, it's probably who cares detail, but. They're soft cookies and that they're light. 
I like it dense. So like a really dense cookie, but really soft. So yeah. it's like got some weight to it. Exactly. Oh, what is it? For Crave? Sure. I think Crave. Crave. Cookies? That's the ones that oh, Crystal yeah. gets. She gets for the parties. Those are, Crave is those are on so a good. different level. Shout out Crave. We we will do. My family will often. We've probably done three or four. My wife will go because they. You know they change all the time. They change what. Like, they have the like a weekly menu, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she'll buy like a the dozen pack. There's only four of us. Like an assortment. Yeah, the full mm-hmm. assortment. We go through and cut them into little pieces That's and do taste way. tests as far as like which one we Ooh, like the most. Yeah. That is the best way to eat cookies. I used to think not, oh, but it is. It is. If you're at a place and there's like eight cookies, you're better off just eating a quarter of a bunch of different ones. What's yeah. funny it, though is Crave is so rich and sweet that after about, and I mean like slices, like it's, it's probably less than an eighth of the cookie. Right. I am like sick to my stomach well, after a few. They're oh, mon- they're massive. They're mon- yeah, yeah, yeah. cookies. Yeah. And really thick, thick with yeah. a ton of ton icing, of but they're yeah. so sugary good. I am yeah. so, such a bad friend that I have not, I've never given us uh, cookies by Joey, right? I never you given have any. never given I us am, your You are so bad. bad. I am. I, I'm honestly going to put that in my notes because they're just, it's just like they, they come up in a box like this and they're like yeah. 15 pounds. I've You're talked like, about it a ton because I'm like, dude, you got to bring those in. I got to, I just happen to have her ship some over to us. Because they're that, I mean, and they're great. She does the same thing. They're just different menus and different, and I'll go and I'll eat myself sick there because yeah. it's worth it. Like in the moment, I'm like, this is great. And then about an hour later, I'm like, I oh, sh- dude. should have not had five of yeah, those. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. When, oh, this is a fun last question. <laughs> Josh is like, we've had our last question. <laughs> uh, I got to edit this. No, this no. idea of an, of an overindulgence with something as simple as a cookie. Okay, what so okay, when? gluttony is a sin in the Bible. It's my worst sin. Where it's my is middle name. where is that line? Is that even a like it feels like it's more applicable today with our is excess. gluttony is gluttony habitual or is it a, a one time thing? I'm asking. I am asking too. Is there where is it's it at? A, it's habitual for me. I love food. I'll eat do you a think lot. you do you think you're gluttonous with food? Okay, in yes. all honesty, do you think you've ever sinned? Gluttony, yes, really. I mean, not. I don't know. I don't. I don't think there of was it. one time I'm I saw. Not him, conscious I, of there the was sin. one time I saw him rubbing it on his face. He was enjoying. It. Was like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, while I was doing yoga. Uh, that's my dad. Cookie. My dad used to do that all the time. He would take a pancake and be like, "It's so good." And I thought it was so funny. <laughs> no syrup. <laughs> no, that was definitely a syrup one. That was a syrup scenario. <laughs> yeah, it was, also, it was all buttery and syrupy. Uh, You're like, oh, oh. He, he's got a beard. He's like, "This was a bad decision. This joke was not worth it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so intrigued by it because that seems like one of those sins. That's a real sin that I'm like, there's no way anybody I know is I, that I, gluttonous. I think it's, I think it's, it's habitual. I don't, I don't yeah. think you can. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I don't think you could sit down and be gluttonous. I'm sure someone would disagree with that. I don't think I, someone's sinful in that. I don't, if someone does, I would definitely be guilty of it because like, I love food. So yeah, but loving because I love food. But right. so my experience is different than your guys's. I used right. to be almost four hundred pounds. Right. So for me, I know gluttony at one point was a, was definitely a sin issue. Now, really though, honestly, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, where because does I was the... because I was knowingly overeating regularly. So you like depression eating? You thinking like is that where it that's is? what I'm, yeah. I'm trying to then think is of it that gluttony line, or is it was sadness? It, so for me, that's what that, I'm trying to figure same? out. Right. For is, me, it was. It was a control thing. It was, this is something I can control, so I'm going to control it. Uh-huh. Wait, you can control it, so you were purposely overeating? I was purposely overeating. And I only know that in retrospect. I was going to say, there's no way you yeah, thought that. Then. I didn't know that at the time, but looking back, I only know that in retrospect. I felt like my life was so out of control in every area, except okay. for my family. My family has always been pretty good. Uh, my, my marriage and my children, my, my relationship with my kids has always been pretty, pretty good, but everything else felt completely out of control. And so this was an area that I could control. Interesting. And so I it was really controlling is. it by eating whatever I wanted. So I did the same thing, but then I was like um, bulimic. Like it was the same constant control, but it was just weird to hear somebody go the other way with that. Same I've never heard of different. that you're, version you're, of it. You think bulimic? yours was a control thing also? It was the it same because the OCD is just, yeah, but yeah. it was the one area I could control and it was, mm-hmm. I had body dysmorphia. You were uh, bulimic during the time? It was pretty close. I've, I've never thought of it as, it's weird. I don't know where the gluttony line is because I'm like, if someone, most people I know who are struggling with that stuff, it's more sadness and depression. I'm not, I don't yeah. want to be like, sin! I'm more like, that's sure. what is Maybe intriguing. Right. I'm like, what right. if, if defining gluttony is like, is it just overeating? Well, no, because, yeah. I'm curious. because like, I don't know. sin requires culpability, right? Okay. It requires intent. 
And so I think there has to be, so maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it wasn't sin because my intent wasn't to sin. My intent was to control something. Yeah, is, is gluttony so. about volume or about quality? Maybe yes. you're just like, you're just like, ha I'm, I'm going to eat all the really good expensive stuff. And you know what I mean? Like, is oh, that, no, that more of it? I was. I don't eating, even know. I was eating. I was not eating expensive stuff. I was eating crappy food. Which were is you fast the best. food? Was that your a deal? A ton fast of food. fast food. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. good. Such a guilty pleasure. Fast food is one of the guilty pleasures for yeah. sure. And chips. And oh, for, chips aren't a guilty pleasure. That's a mainstay in my life. <laughs> yes, I love chips so much. Yesterday I, mean, I was sad. So yeah, I, I ate like a yeah. bag of chips yesterday. We're, but you weren't like a four. No, no, not, not, not I, it's hard. It's you haven't been down to a I four. I'm sleeping better. We were having a great day yesterday, and so we went to Indian now. I was like, hey, isn't that interesting how food is both a reward and a consolation yeah. and like yeah. it's everything. It's sure. a salve. It's you can use yeah. it for right. good days, bad salve. days. Yeah. It's so crazy to me. Yeah. Well, it's, and there's also like the giving up. Like so like we had the potluck and I ate a bunch of crap there and I, so I got home like I give up. Give me right. a bag of chips. Oh, right. that's funny. Yeah. They do say that like if, if you start that first decision you make in the morning, depending on what you eat sets the tone for the rest of the day. Yep. Like very quickly. It's so true actually. It really does affect me. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be yeah. fine. And then I was like, oh, this slow looks really good. I brought home some of the fried chicken and had that for dinner last night. And uh my cat was like, oh this looks so good. And so I gave my cat some fried chicken. And then I went out to the hot tub and my wife sent me a picture of the cat threw up everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the, some of the greasiest fried chicken. She goes, maybe don't feed the cat fried chicken. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, that's bad. Yeah. That's yeah. gross. Poor cat. <laughs> I felt bad. So you said chips. That's you your felt... indulgence. That's his. I, oh, I chips. mean, chips are my a... normal day. A... Ah, it's not even an indulgence. What, I love what, them okay, so much. I think what it's funny that he, you felt bad for the cat. I thought poor Ash, who had to clean up the cat puke. No, oh, no. She texted me, get inside. I was oh, like, so okay, I'll come back in right now. Yeah, yeah. What would be your indulgence? Uh, what do I on a love? regular basis? Let's go regular, not 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 like like just you know more often oh, than not. Okay, I was thinking like on vacation. or yeah, something. Yeah, okay. He's like an adult, so I think it, I actually brought some here. The it's it's the, the I think an it's it is one of the Jade best. Loves those. Uh, it, they're so that good is an in indulgence? so many ways. It is good. You eat like what? Like that's not bad though. He, he just minis, indulges himself a lot. It's minis. it or supposed to be like. Like not that bad for you. They're supposed to be like okay, oh. ice cream and a chocolate. Co- like a oh, maybe I'm not. No, no. Sorry, what? Give yeah, what me more thinking? rationale to eat. Oh, I'm thinking of that's it at, at Costco. They're like fruit bars. <laughs> oh, no some. idea. No, no, okay. no. Okay, no, it's, it's it. it or the ice cream sandwiches no that are like the. It's an oatmeal cookie, a what? ice cream, vanilla ice cream in the middle. Then the whole thing's dipped in chocolate, mm-hmm. dude. They are, they're so good. Yeah. Mine is yogurt land. Yeah, you oh. do love. You I love yogurt, yogurt land yeah. and uh, doghouse fries, mm. ranch and barbecue. Oh, I had some shoot. doghouse fries. Doghouse fries. Night. I don't. I don't even know. Doghouse fries. I wasn't even hungry when I ate them the last time. I'm like, nah, I'm full, but I'm eating this you entire. You don't need to be ever. Bag you can. Of fries. They're so good. What's funny is I think sushi. If I'm eating oh. like expensive food, I will eat an unhealthy amount of sushi. Like I'm we did that you. day on that oh, right. trip? Yes. Yeah. That was, I could, yeah. I could that see why. that was your first time having it, right? That was my first time actually eating good sushi. Like oh, actually yeah. eating the not California roll. I will purposefully overeat when, I'm, when, I, when I have good oh, yeah. sushi. I'm like, this is yeah. happening, you know, a few times in a year for me because it's expensive because yeah. I eat a lot. Um, but I would say... Yeah, I can eat a lot of sushi. Typical yeah. like fatty food, sugary foods. Uh, I could eat a whole bucket of ice cream in one sitting. Sure. Yeah. Not even and not even a question. I have Ashley gone to the too. movies just for the popcorn. Uh, you're all I'm with you, but I need Reese's pieces with my popcorn. Like I've walked into Edwards. Do you put it like buy in popcorn? The popcorn? No, I just, I just need no, you I just need to yeah. vary I just need to vary the Reese's. Are you the, joking? They yeah. sell it uh, as a to go. You don't have to buy a ticket to go into Edwards. Yeah, but it's like $9. Yeah, for, for the, the crappiest no. ice cream. No, it is the worst nine. ice cream in the world. No, no, no. Sorry. It's not no, more the, than more than the popcorn. No. The popcorn. I'll no, popcorn. What did I yeah. say? Did I say ice cream? <laughs> like, I'll get Sorry. a large, and they have like a lounge in the VIP section where I've sat there and I've just chilled there like an hour before the movie started, and I have like an hour's worth of popcorn. So this sounds under the like, Tuscan sun. So popcorn right before under the Tuscan. This sun. sounds like you you were at a three at that point in your life. But the no, weird part is you're I at was a at nine. A, I was yeah. at an eleven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm just lounging there. They just keep re-rolling these ads for movies. I, and I just, love that you like Edward's popcorn. Popcorn's fine. Sierra Vista's popcorn is by far the best in town. The only problem Way I better. have is that you can't control the amount of butter you put on because oh. they do it for you. So oh. I, I literally tell them, I'm like, give me an no. unhealthy They have amount. a dispenser now. It's Edwards, over, to the, or, yeah, it's over to the left. Clovis has a dispenser now. Yeah. You put it on yourself. 
Mm, mind it's a blown. game changer. Mind blown. I'm going there yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> you should. <laughs> uh, Floyd, guilty indulgence? I, I don't know what it would be because I don't. I mean, you don't indulge. You and Joe have been yeah, healthy. I'm, I mean, I in, I indulge, I mean, but it's too, planned. Uh-huh. Right. Right. I, 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 whatever I want, planned. whatever I want. You don't man. have a you don't have a go to like you're like okay today. That makes if healthy. I'm going to actually exactly. like we're really, emotionally healthy. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You are uh, no. I envy both of you. I I told you right now. Like my happy place is 400 pounds. That is yeah. Like that's like my someday I want to get there. We can just yeah. be like you know what. I'm gonna get to 400 pounds. It's not happy. Yeah. Uh, the that, problem is, I think with that, physical, I can look in the mirror and just be like, I'm fine. That's yeah. that's where I want to be. I don't yeah. look at 400 pounds like I'm fine. The physical ramifications, I think, are the big problem. Your knees. Uh, I, I'm your worried knees about alone. And knees, you. heart. I'm 49 years like, old and I need a knee replacement. Yeah. Well, shoot. Sleeping I, already. I got one at, at 50 is already rough. I couldn't imagine joint too. It was a full reconstruction. He Wait, wouldn't do a replacement. What else would be? You said knee. What else would it be? Knee, said, knees and heart, I think, are like that's what I'm afraid of. He's like joint too. I'm like, well, no, it's because, his knee. Oh. The, saying, <laughs> well, no, <laughs> saying heart. Have you ever heard so the, the difference between like, a replacement and a reconstruction? Yeah, because yeah. 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 the reconstruction is not the joint, right? Mm. So the reconstruction is ACL, MCL, and meniscus. Yes, cadaver it's, parts. They had to shave a bunch of the right. bone oh. that's all destroyed. A replacement is a straight up and the chop, chop, they literally and cut the femur. And the two mm. little guys, and tibia. put in another and, knee, and tibia and, and fibula, and that's yeah. what they say I need. Fibula, yeah. Fi- tibia and fibula. Tibia. You're saying heart and knees. Is that the same? Have you ever arms? heard somebody four hundred pounds breathe? Yeah. The the breathing for yeah. just being like, I just can't you, imagine just being like. They're oh. like a pug dog. You wake oh. yourself up. You wake yourself up at night. <laughs> really? I mean, that's yeah. a big pug oh, dog. Wow. Uh, okay, but Did, you gotta, so you, you don't. Have, I can't believe you don't have a go-to feet. Yeah. You, you, no, you said you said guilty pleasure, like, and I don't. Okay. I don't ever feel Mother, guilty because I you I plan it. Sure. Well, okay, well, what's what your, are they? What's your cheat day stuff? Like, what, so he doesn't uh, say that either. Fi- uh, fixes what? Fixes line. Feast. Get your feast day. Yeah, where do you put your it's macros? Actually feet day. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> I don't count my macros yeah, on a feast day. Put those somewhere. I did like Mike Gidry's line when I asked him if he wanted something to drink or like it was a beer or something. He goes, I don't drink my calories. Oh, I've heard that so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ben and Jerry's Tonight Dough ice cream. I love that. Why is Tonight Dough, I think, the best one? I don't, never, I don't know. Uh, it is. Never it's had amazing. It. Dude, never it, had it. it's the best one. I do. Yeah. I, I just think always it's the get Cherry one. Garcia. Chunky Monkey's pretty good. Uh, oh, the camera's okay. just turned off, so that's good. Well, that's the end of it. So We're that's, we'll wait for them to come back. But on they're back on. Good. They're actually flashing. Hey, Mine's there we on. go. Uh, hey. Have you, do you like telling us something. I do like peanut butter, yeah. Hagen Dazs makes a peanut butter ribbon. Ooh, that is. Might have to try that. Yeah. I went out. It was during COVID. I this is kind of funny. Uh, I I buy bulk everything. So if I if I'm gonna buy one, I'm buying thirty of them, so I don't have to go to the store. I went to five different stores. Not a joke. Bought all five stores out of the Hagen Dazs peanut butter so stripe I ice cream. Think so that's that I the never line. had to go again. That's that's a line. That's, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Because now you're depriving other humans of he, the joy. This, Gladly. That cigar. <laughs> Gladly. He did that with that cigar, the, the mortal, mortal coil. coil. I couldn't buy a mortal coil oh, in right. this town so because he's a he cigar, buys every one of them. He's a cigar glutton. Mm. There you it know is. what? He's, he's a, a glutton. You're not wrong. A I just don't want to go to the store. I keep buying he's shoes. A, he's a glutar. Mm. Shoes? I just oh, bought a new pair of shoes. Bing, bing. Another <laughs> new pair of shoes that I don't need. Yeah. Shoes, I think, are fun. You're a shoe glutton. I am a shoe glutton. It's funny. I... Didn't even think that way because I, I grew up on a ranch. My grandfather did the same thing. He bought bulk everything. Sure. So it's cheaper. Then you don't have to go to the store. So he kind of taught yeah. me that, and I've always lived like that. And it was, it's really funny that you say it because the ice cream, I come home after the, like, the third or fourth time, and my wife goes, dude, how much of this do you need? And I was like, dude, I, j- I just want to have it on hand whenever I want it. And she goes, what about other people? And I went, oh. <gasps> I never thought about other humans. And dead serious. I never thought, what if somebody else wanted one? Yeah. So I like so I don't buy I usually don't buy the store out of stuff anymore because yeah. of that reason. Because I'm like, if other people want one, I'll leave a couple. Uh, the, the, I'll no, leave no, a couple. It's the, well, it's, the, I mean, one, it's the one dented gallon. With like a big dent in it. But I oh, there's, a, there's a scoop one. left. But yeah. I'm the one who dents it. Yeah, if you're getting this, it's gonna be broken. <laughs> you do live. 
several miles outside. Oh of yeah, I live far time. away. I hate like not three. No, no, yeah, no, no. There's no the, where he lives in it's relation. Like three miles from Walmart to it Walmart is, is not justification right. for it buying is all six, that. It's only it three is miles. Six miles. I was gonna say. Is Walmart. it? Here's it's the other thing. Miles. Is I by the way, he doesn't buy his. He doesn't shop at Walmart. Oh, he instacarts. He instacarts it to his house. No, I don't. Walmart delivery. Oh, oh, yeah, no, Walmart delivery. I will do Walmart. So now you're depriving the instacart guy because his entire car is using all its gas to transport. But I do, I do go to Walmart probably once a week. For oh, a okay. show, How could you it's know? usually for a, sh- a show. Oh, yeah. I will say, to look at people. I keep making the wrong. Do- I'm not Ryan. We're like, I need. I'm gonna buy everything, but I've last three times I've walked into the grocery store without a cart, and I've regretted it. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you have to have a cart because I just keep being like, oh, actually, I yeah. need that. Oh, I yeah. need, and that now I'm doing like the juggling all of it to the register. Or I'll, yeah. I'll grab a hand basket, you know, and then I it's like, I wish they don't have oh. those out as much anymore. I don't think they have them at all. That's, I've never I seen them. It's honestly basket. not practical because yeah. I'll all end up being there like, I need more. This is getting heavy. Yeah, lucky. Uh, <laughs> all right, I got a hand basket. I need a case of water. Yeah, uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> can't do it. All right. Oh, this is a good time. This yeah. is fun. Mainly because right. I had a good cigar, so, you know. Okay. That's, That's good to wrap fun. it up there. This is You Won't Hate It. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh. My camera went off again. I'm Ryan. <laughs> I'm Floyd. My camera's your, off your as camera's well, off but too. I got a wide shot, so I'll just say, I'm Batman. It doesn't have the same profound impact that the first one would have had. No, it didn't. It, you know what, though? You're whispering very thoughtfully, and there's no, micro- there's no camera on you. Oh, it's back. Mine's back. Oh, mine's not. Oh, there's mine. Hi. <laughs> That's so <laughs> dumb. Let's not get the Wi-Fi fixed. Uh, I'm Batman. I'm, I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs>